In this video, I want to talk to you about creating online forms for your site without any coding at all that do automatic calculations. And I also want to give you some of the ideas that, where you can use these things because they can be really powerful for your business. So you've probably been to websites where they've got online calculators of some kind or something where you plug in different values or you can use little range sliders and you choose little values and it will give you a score. Um, you've probably seen these like with loan calculators, mortgage calculators, but they can also be really handy for lead generation where you can have like a, a, a free evaluation where people uh, score themselves on certain things and then they opt in or to get the final result emailed to them. And so there's a lot of really cool uses for this. Recently, I actually just had to build a couple of online calculators for a client of mine. This is what that form looked like. It's a real simple form where basically you're calculating your uh, profit and loss for a particular week. And this is uh, somebody who charges by the hour per session, okay? And so you could do things like plugging in your session rate and blah, blah, blah. And you're, you're going to get... Um, automatic calculations. All these grayed out values are going to be automatically calculated. Um, and you can see how it changes profit and loss to 500. Um, if you spent money like 100 bucks, it will bring it down to profit and loss because you spent that. And that's basically how that works. It's real simple. All these grayed out fields change automatically when you enter the values. And in this particular case, we don't even have a submit button on the form because she doesn't care to collect this stuff. But in other cases, you could totally create forms that do something very similar to this and have it submitted and send it into your CRM and follow up with them accordingly based on what the final number is. There's all kinds of things that you can do. Now, the way I built that form was using Fluent Forms inside of her WordPress site. Now, Fluent Forms happens to be the forms plugin that I use across my business, but also pretty much on every client site where I have anything to do with developing their forms for them. Uh, it's by far my favorite forms plugin. One of the reasons why I like it over things like Gravity Forms and WP Forms and these types of things is because Fluent Forms uh, is kind of like an all-in-one. You get you buy a pro version if you need the enhanced capabilities, but then all the add-ons are there. They're not going to nickel and dime you for various other add-ons and, oh, you need this and give you different levels of membership. The other thing is that they don't put weird upsells and annoying things into their interface like WP Forms does. And so I, it's, just, it's just a cleaner experience and it's simpler to deal with. And the thing is capable. It does so many things. Now, when it comes to these calculator forms, is this one of those capabilities that's in, inside of Fluent Forms that you may not know is there? Because what it is, is you're using numeric forms, of course, any form type or any field type, I should say, that results in a number you can utilize in your calculations. But then when you go to the advanced settings of one of, one of these fields and go down, there's a little checkbox there that says enable calculation. And it's just kind of buried down there. But when you check that, you have the ability to set up formulas where you can then choose other fields that are on your form and then apply a formula kind of like an Excel spreadsheet and basically create uh, automated results that way. And so it's really, really powerful. It's just sort of buried there in the settings. Now, one thing to keep in mind when you're building these calculations is that when, you, when you're actually looking at the formula, it's going to be using the name attributes here. When you look at the drop down, it's going to actually give you the plain English you know, field name that you've typed in for that field, which makes it a lot easier to know what you're selecting. However, in the formula, it's going to be using this name attribute. So if you click right up here, you'll see that by default, it's just going to kind of name it by the field type. And then if you have more than one, it's just going to start incrementing it. So this one is just field, you know, numeric field one, then the next one will be numeric field two. That's not very descriptive when it comes to actually looking at these calculations. So what I would actually recommend that you do is go back and you actually rename these name attributes to something that's descriptive for you. That way, when you go back and you want to look at these formulas later and potentially make edits to it, your formulas will make sense. You'll be able to take one look at it and know exactly how that formula is built. Another thing to keep in mind is that by default, obviously, forms are going to have a submit button here. But in certain cases, you may not want them to uh, see a submit button uh, because you just don't need to collect the information. Or you're just kind of providing an online calculator. So one thing that you can do with Fluent Forms uh, is go to edit that submit button, go to your advanced options, and then you can put in this little container class that's pre-built into Fluent Forms. Um, it's just FF underscore force underscore hide. You can find this 
is in the documentation for Fluent Forms. But you just stick that in there and it will hide the submit button. So you'll still see the submit button here when you're actually editing the form, but on the front end when you look at it, you're not going to see it and there will be no ability to, to submit the form and it's just going to simply be an online calculator. Now that ability to hide fields can obviously be shown or put on any other type of field as well, not just the submit button. So one thing you might want to consider here is the fact that let's say that you're get, creating a form where people can <clears throat> get a, uh, a final score on something, you can actually hide the field that actually does the final score so that you can have them opt into your list in order to get that final score. So what will happen is you're going to use the form, it's going to calculate that, that final score of whatever evaluation form you've got but because of the the integrations of fluent forms into all kinds of list builders including fluent crm which is definitely the one that i recommend then you could send that final score into your crm and then based on that number you can and employ certain marketing automations to follow up with them it's really good for generating very qualified leads to your business now, if you really want to take it up a notch here, consider checking out this plugin called Ninja Tables. It's actually put out by the exact same people that built Fluent Forms and Fluent CRM and all that. These guys have a number of different plugins. But what Ninja Tables does is it's a table builder. You can manually create these tables. It does a lot of really cool things. But one of the beauties of it is that it's got a really nice integration with Fluent Forms. And so you can actually, if you go over to the demo, we can you know show WooCommerce stuff with all that. But you could actually create a table sort of like this one that is basically outputting your fluent forms entries so this enables you to display your fluent forms entries on the front end of your website if that's something that actually makes sense in whatever application that you are, are putting together on your website it could come in handy for example with online coaches or something where you want your clients to log into a membership site and submit like status reports or daily entries on something so you can track their progress over time you can have Fluent Forms collect that information. You can show them the information on the front end so they can see their own entries. And even cooler than that, there's a plugin out there called Ninja Charts that these guys created. I, I, I found out about it fairly recently, actually, because they just don't really mention it anywhere. Um, but it integrates really nicely with both Fluent Forms and Ninja Tables. And it can do things. Like, let's pop on down here. Watch this. Pop on down, these are their demos. It can do things like create these gorgeous charts based on the information in the not only the Ninja tables, but even just straight from your Fluent Forms entries. Think about the options there. If you want to say you have, you're tracking somebody's progress that you're working with, they log into their account, they fill out these things, it results in a calculated score on how well they're doing on a daily basis. And then you could even show them a line graph of their progress um, inside their account when they're logged in. This can all be done using Fluent Forms, potentially Ninja Tables if you want to show them the entries, and then Ninja Charts so you can actually generate the graphs. A lot of people, when they see a forms plug they just start thinking about things like contact forms. But as you can see, there's so many more options there when you start to dive into what some of these forms plugins can actually do. I mean, with what I've just shown you here with the calculated uh, numeric fields and fluent forms and potentially even ninja tables and then the ninja charts plugin that goes with it. Think about what you can create there as an online coach and with the progress reports. You can also put lead generation forms out there with free tests and stuff like that where they can enter some information, you calculate a score for them, but then they opt in, of course, into Fluent CRM in order to get their results. It's a great lead generation setup for multiple kinds of businesses. Um, you know, if you're in the finance space, you could obviously use this to just create simple financial calculators like mortgage calculators and loan calculators. There's a lot of options here if you just put your imagination to use on things, how, how you can expand your business using this type of technology. So that's what I've got for you to, for today. Uh, keep in mind that I'm showing you how to do, do this with Fluent Forms. It's personally the plugin that I recommend for all of your forms needs. But I'm not going to sit here and say you couldn't do the same with other plugins. If you want to go check out WP Forms or Gravity Forms, you go right ahead. I just personally think that Fluent Forms is the best one, and I've kind of used most of them. Um, 
Also, if you would like my help building these forms for you, if you don't want to deal with all the little formulas and all that, well, I can build it. I mean, obviously the initial impetus for this video and this blog post was uh, because I built a couple of forms for a client of mine using Fluent Forms. And I was like, well, I might as well document how the heck I did that. So, but if you would like me to build some forms for you and kind of build it into your marketing automation platform, Hit me up. I can definitely help you do that via technical services. Lastly, if you're a concierge client, keep in mind Fluent Forms and Ninja Tables are both part of my agency bundle. And so if you're a client of mine, you don't need to go buy those plugins on your own. Just come on over uh, as a client. Uh, let me know what you need. We'll get them set up and we'll build them together and get this stuff set up in your business. All right. That being said, if you have any questions whatsoever, go below. Feel free to ask away and I'll be down there to answer your questions. And otherwise, I will see you on the next video.